I want to start uh, to minister to Maurice. Okay, uh, so Maurice, the Lord showed me how you build a house. And, and I felt that the Lord says He wants to establish your house and He wants to establish your ministry. And I felt, you know, the Bible says that the, the, the house of God is different stones and those stones are represented by different people that are part of the, the, the house. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that He's going to bring different people to help you in the ministry to work for God and to establish that ministry. But then also at your own home, the Lord is going to bring you breakthrough of provision, uh, the, the right vehicle, the right furniture, the right things that you need so that you can, can prosper and you can function to fulfill the call that God has upon your life. God bless you, Marys. Amen. God bless you, Marys. God loves you. This next word is for Tash Jane. Tash Jane, God loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord is really giving you wisdom um, right now. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm replacing... Um, I just, I just, I just saw a block of gold and how that was being burnt and how all the, the, the dust, the old, the unnecessary melted away and it was just that gold. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm removing everything that is not supposed to be there. And I just feel how God is really making a way in your life. And I just feel the Lord says, don't. He knows your heart. He knows your worries. He knows your thoughts. And I just feel the Lord says there's an invitation to come into my presence and receive my perfect rest. And I just feel the Lord says, touch down your call to be gold. And I am, I'm right now forming you. You know when you like work with pottery and then you still got to like add a bit of water so that the, the clay can still be flexible. And I just see that's exactly what God is doing with you in your life. He's still adding that water so that he can still mold you to become something even greater. I just feel the Lord says, I'm not done. There's so much more growth and so much more I want to do. God loves you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Tasha and I, for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. We love to hear from you. Also, if you have prayer requests, please put it in the group. There's a lot of people that love to pray with you and come into agreement. And then if you want prophetic ministry, put your name, surname, and where you are from. Please don't forget the comments. Okay, so the next word is for Kersley. Kersley, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of an ox wagon and the wheel broke. Now, uh, the wheel broke and then the Lord gave you a brand new wheel, but this wheel is not an ox wagon wheel. It is like a car wheel, it's a mag, it looks nice, it's got tires, it's very practical. Now the ox wagon wheel was not very comfortable. There was no shocks, no suspension, nothing. It was very, very hard and difficult. And I just see the willingness to, to work in ministry is going to be upgraded, it's going to be more bearable, it's going to be, you're going to have the right things that you need. I see it was a very hard road, so don't judge the future according to the past. Judge it with faith, meaning don't walk by sight but by faith. See the possibilities that God is placing inside of you, and also the passion that God brings with you is going to double. Be blessed. Aaron Kersley, please leave us a comment. This thanks for is for Petronella. The Lord shows me how He is just coming and filling the channels into your life, those river channels. And the Lord shows me how He's filling them up with water. The Lord also shows me how any gaps that you feel are places of lack. The Lord is coming and He's going to fill those places up. How you make your needs known to the Lord and say, Lord, this is what I need. But when you come, you come with the Father's heart and you know, do I need this? Is this is this in, is this in line for my life? And the Lord gives you like a, a red light or a green light. And when He gives you a green light, the Lord shows me how you press in and you pray and you intercede for this miracle. Or He gives you a red light. He says, not now, just wait. Be blessed. Hey, Peter and Nala, uh, God bless you. Uh, so family, I just want to encourage you. Uh, so we got two channels. Uh, the one is Unity with Heaven prophetic channel. And then the other one is Unity with Heaven just like that. And that's a teaching channel where I post at least two teachings every single week. So I want to encourage you. Please go to the Unity with Heaven teaching channel and just go and watch some of those videos and give me a comment. I see a lot of views on the prophetic side. I don't get a lot of views on the teaching side and it will really help me uh, to, to get some of you. I work hard on my teachings for you to go and listen and build yourself and build your faith. All right, so I just want to ask you uh, to do that. And then um, if you need prayer, please write in the comments. I need pray for this and then if you see someone write in the comments I need pray then I want to encourage you sit there and pray for that person just bless them uh, if the Lord shows you something and just write a comment back and say this is what God is showing me so it's important for us to get into a habit to say I'm going to bless the people around me and 
make myself available to be an instrument but on the other side I also want to draw from the people around me to bless me and to pray for me so we are the body of Christ we work together hey so uh, Ricky I saw um, one of your children go through a door the Lord opens up a door and bless that child and when that door opens up then a second door opens and that's a door for you and so I felt that doesn't help to be impatient and say Lord I want this and that to happen in my life I felt that the Lord says there's a specific order and so trust the Lord for the right doors for your children to go through and then I will also open up the right door for you and I see that um, the Lord is opening up a new ministry opportunity in your life and I see a bigger flow of God's anointing through you and also special provision that God is preparing for you God bless you, Ricky. Amen. God bless you, Ricky. God loves you. This next word is for Finnis. Finnis, God loves you very much. And I just feel the Lord really wants to bring more joy into your life. The picture God showed me for you was how um, you've been very busy. And and it, it, and, and you, it was good. You're like serving God. You're doing what you need to do. You're obedient. And then I saw how you're like in times of celebration. And then it's kind of like you're in the crowd watching people enjoy um, whatever like they're doing. Like if they're celebrating or if they're dancing. And you're just like in the crowd watching. And I just see how the Lord is really like grabbing your hand and pulling you in and saying this is a time of celebration this is a time of dancing even though I just feel there's a lot of like tiredness and strain um, but I just feel the Lord says step into my joy and I'm going to restore you and give you strength like never before I just feel the Lord is giving you confidence joy strength and through that that's also going to bring financial victory and also victory for your ministry God loves you so much God has such a big plan for you God bless you Thank you, Finis, for being here tonight. Please remember, write as a comment. The next word is for Joshua. Joshua, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of archery targets and you walk and you hit all of them. But the challenge is you're getting other people's goals. That is not your goals. And then I just see how the Lord says, pray and focus on what you are supposed to do. So it is good if you can accomplish, but if you cannot accomplish your goal, then it becomes difficult. And I see the Lord has given you certain things that is way above what you, the goals that you want to achieve. Uh, the Lord says you definitely need to spend time with prayer uh, with the Lord so that you can get a strategy for your future and targets for the future, goals for the future that the Lord wants you to achieve. And I, I see it's a very, very higher calling than you are expecting. Uh, so don't focus on other people's goals. Focus on what God wants you to achieve. Be blessed. Uh, Amen, Joshua. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Devong. The Lord shows me how you are growing this long hair in the spirit and how and you are really like Samson. And the Lord shows me how when you feel that temptation is coming, immediately run to the Lord because it builds up in, in us saying you want this, you want this, you want this until you go and grab it. And, it. and it tries to trick you. So the Lord says, when you feel temptation comes, run to me. And the Lord shows me how he shows you, you don't want this. You don't need this you need my love you this is your purpose your purpose is is to love me and to be with me and and to grow though that is what the Lord is calling you the Lord says that I have given you strength to to be able to say no I don't need this I need the Lord be blessed hey, uh, the I just really felt that the Lord says I have uh, on your life um, an anointing uh, to um, um, I don't know if it's business or if it's um, just to manage finances. Um, it, it could possibly that you work at some place, but you very good with managing your finances. I just see anointing on your on your life to do that. Okay, Devon, God bless you. Uh, so the next person I want to minister to is uh, Gael. Um, so Gael, what the Lord is showing to me is how there is a road, a path that He has for you. And in the middle of that road is a big tree. And so now you need to chop that tree down so that you can continue on your path. And so that tree becomes a blockage. And then I asked the Lord about the tree and I got uh, a tree of bitterness, a broken relationship. And I felt that the Lord says that a part of that tree is going to be cut off and a part of it is going to be restored so that you can, can continue on your path. And so I just felt that the Lord says, if there is a toxic relationship in your life that's really bringing abuse into your life the, the Lord says if you can try to 
cut it off and get it out of your life all right uh, and then i see a, another relationship again that the lord restores and that um uh, relationship is going to provide a covering and a blessing into your life and so i just felt that the lord says he's giving you the anointing and the wisdom to deal with it now sometimes we can go over the expiry date on that relationship that's not supposed to be in our life because that's not the, the intersection that God has for our life. And so then it's necessary for us to use the wisdom that God says and to say, I need to cut that out of my life. And so I, I feel the Lord is giving you the wisdom to do that. God bless you, Gail. Amen. This next word is for Matthew. Matthew, God loves you very much. And the picture God showed me for you was two buildings um, that God has called you to work on. The first building you are going to start um, from scratch. Um, that is your ministry. That That is... That is a calling God has given you in your life. And then the second building was a build building already made. And you know that quote, um, your your leader's ceiling is your floor. And I just saw how you are called to build on top of it because it's a building of legacy. And I just feel it's just a generational anointing and favor. And the Lord says you can't build, and I have called you to build the separate building, but you can't build that separate building if you don't also expand on this. So I just really feel the Lord is giving you favor for both. But the Lord says you have to do both and I'm with you um, and I just feel it's just really gonna help you and then also God is breaking all dates from your life and Matthew I really want to encourage you um, I really you know the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy and I, I just felt that um, whatever was stolen in your life God is bringing restoration and God just like John 10 10 it also says God comes that we may have life and life in abundance and I just feel that's a promise God is establishing now in your life and also for 2025 God loves you God bless you Thank you, Matthew, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Mose, Susie. Hopefully, I pronounced it correctly. But the Lord bless you. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, I see a lot of sadness in your life. And it's, it's not beautiful to look at the sadness, but I see there's a solution. The solution is to dry up the fountain of sadness in your life by connecting to the Lord. The Lord wants to give you strategies to come out of your circumstances. And I just see that the Lord wants to replace your sadness with joy. It's, it's not just that there's going to be emptiness. The Lord says, I want to put joy where there is sadness right now. So the amount of sadness is going to be less than the amount of joy. And I just see how it's going to bring forth a new stream. And around that stream, I just see a lot of green beautiful gardens next to it so it's going to be exciting but you're going to have to make that deci decision if you want it and walk with the lord be blessed amen this next word is for darshan the lord shows me how he is how you are lying down and and and, and, and what i see is how you are wounded and how the lord is just carrying your head and he is carrying you to to a place where there is healing and i hear the lord saying that in the flesh there is wounds and there is pain but when you are seated in me and seated in the lord and and when you hear from the lord when you are when you lay your head in his hands how there is just peace and the lord wants to bring you that peace and sometimes that that peace in him comes with the, the storm around you but he wants to use you to to calm the storm but where you are now i hear the lord saying come back into that seat of rest Come and sit in me and the Lord shows me that every day get out of the flesh, get out of the flesh, get out of the flesh. And the Lord shows me how you grow more and more into the Lord and then you can't even see yourself in the flesh. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you, Darshan. Uh, so the next word is for Cushy. All right. So Cushy, uh, when the Jews teach their children how to read a, a, a biblical sc scroll, let's say they read one of the books of the Old Testament. They, they were not allowed to read the whole scroll or open up the whole scroll in one time because that, that would be dishonorable to God. So what they would do, they would read and study one piece in the scroll until they understand it and they apply it in their life. Then they will roll the scroll to the next little bit and close the top part again and they read the next bit, memorize it and then apply it to their heart. And so systematically they would work through the scroll. And then I saw your life like that scroll where you don't understand your future completely but you understand where you need what you need to do right now and i felt that the lord says that you've been faithful to do what i've given you to do and now i see the lord is rolling the scroll even tonight that scroll on and he's giving you new instructions for a new portion 
in your life. And so I really feel there's a new season opening up for you. God bless you, Kushi. Amen. God bless you, Kushi. God loves you. You're such a blessing. This next word is for Frankie. Frankie, God loves you very much. And I, I really feel the Lord is really um, calling, giving you new skills and also like training you and giving you experience. And also I, I saw a picture of you studying or learning something brand new. And I just feel the Lord says it's time for expansion um, because God wants you to expand um, in, in the areas of your life. And then also there's a blessing for family in your life God has called you for family God has called you to be a family leader and I just feel the Lord's hand up is upon you for a family um, God loves you so much Frankie um, God bless you thank you Frankie for being here tonight please remember write us a comment the next word is for Thomas Thomas the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a uh, you're trying to loosen a nut on a wheel uh, but the caps are still on so you struggle and you don't get it loose now experience will train and teach you how to resolve it but this is based on misunderstanding in a relationship where you're at and I just see how experience will help you to overcome this in the future but for now I just see how you patiently need to endure you need to speak love and I just see how if you want the the, the misunderstanding to be removed out of the way don't focus on who's right and who's wrong Focus on what is the solution. Focus on what what you can do in the future to bring blessing to that relationship. Be blessed. Amen, Thomas. Please leave us a comment. Love to hear from you. This next word is for Luke. Luke. I hear the word saying he leaves the 99 and he comes back for for the one every time. And sometimes we feel like we have fallen so low that there is nowhere else to go and there's no other name to call upon except the name of the Lord. And I hear the Lord saying that this is the time to call upon my name. I can hear the sheep and, and I'm coming for my sheep because you're calling out to the Lord. You are making an invitation. The Lord is always open to his children, but you are making yourself open. Lord, I want to receive you. My heart is open. I'm calling upon your name and the Lord shows me how he's ready to meet with you, that you have a divine appointment with the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Luke, uh, I just see a volume button and now the Lord uh, just picks up the volume in your life. And I, I think things is going to go a little bit faster, a little bit more exciting. Hey, God bless you, Luke. Uh, God is with you. Uh, so I want to minister to Sonia Westhuizen. Uh, so Sonia, uh, what God is showing to me is a mountain with, with uh, snow and ice on it. And uh, you were kind of trapped by the snow on a mountain. You couldn't move. Um, and now the sun is shining on that snow and it's a new season. So it melts. And now there's lots of streams, ice cold, pure water that's coming and it's passing you. And I felt that the Lord says that He is unstucking you. You are in that season. And you know, winter season is actually a good season for, for um, plants and things like that. And I just felt that the Lord says that that winter season is over in your life. And that all this streams full of this pure water is going to start to flow in your life. And you're going to see in your family, uh, in your ministry, so even in your time that you spent with God, um, uh, with, with the finances, with your health. Lots of little rivers is going to flow in each direction and the Lord is going to just pick everything up. God bless you, Sonia. Amen. God bless you, Auntie Sonia. God bless you. This next word is for Peter. Peter, the Lord loves you very much. And God is there. I, I just saw a picture of how God gave you a backpack. And in this backpack were messages, scrolls, songs, um, prophetic words. And God has called you to be a messenger. And pray about this. Maybe it's it's for YouTube or maybe it's it's for, for your ministry or even for like your business or environment that you are in. But God has called you to speak and prophesy sing songs give messages i just feel there's just a i just feel like there's a heavenly communication call that god has placed in your life and then peter um god loves you and i, I really feel how the lord says um you're going to see my face you're going to feel my love like never before and there's just a new fire that god is igniting in your heart because god has called you to be a leader and he has called you to um really encourage people to be on fire for god and to run with god god loves you peter god bless you Thank you, Peter, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for Latifa. Latifa, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Okay, so like on a fighter jet with that G-force pull away, it is, it's heavy. I see a, a, 
a lot of acceleration in your life. But also with a fighter pilot, they need to train to endure and um, to be able to sustain all of the G's that the plane produced or else they pass out. Now just see, it's going to be heavy, mm. it's going to be exciting, but you need to learn every time the Lord gives you an instruction, a revelation, a teaching, write it down, meditate upon it over and over because it's going to be crucial in your training to advance and not miss a step. It is, it's important, but definitely it's going to be it's going to be very, very nice for you. Be blessed. Amen, Latifa. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Anami. The Lord shows me how, how He is drowning out the noise and He is just sending you music. How you engage the Spirit and, and the angels who are always singing. And the Lord shows me how you connect to that song and you just start to worship the Lord. That anytime you feel like your head is getting full with noise, that you just start to release that song that the Lord has placed in you to sing, even if you don't have a good voice, even if you can't dance, but you can still worship. That you don't, that you don't leave it all to, to how you look like or to how it comes out, but you leave it to how is the Lord um, receiving this is he receiving this well am i am i delivering this well to the lord and that is the mindset you must have to honor our father be blessed hey uh, honor me uh, god bless you um so uh, family uh, i'm gonna minister to every single person uh, tonight all right so if you are let's go over uh, 40 or 50 and somewhere we stop because we're gonna do communion uh, do not fear i'm going to sit with the team um, and then we're going to minister to every single person and I'll post an additional video to make sure that you receive your word. So if you desire to have prophetic ministry, don't worry if you put your name only now on at the comments. I'll make sure that we minister to you. Uh, we, we really have a heart to minister to people. Uh, Anamir, thank you also very much for all your comments and your involvement in what we're doing in the channel so uh, i really appreciate you thank you very much okay so now the next uh, word is for sanian okay uh, so sanian uh, what the lord uh, was showing to me uh, is how um he's putting his passion he's putting his holy spirit and holy and, he, and his fire on the inside of you and then the lord showed me uh, a, a bottle of sparkling wine and how that cork just came off and it just overflowed and I felt that the Lord says it's, it's important that the love and the, the passion and the power of God have to overflow over your life. And so don't worry what people around you think or if they think you, you're acting strange. Let it flow. Because the more you allow it to flow, the stronger the flow of God's power is going to be. And I just see that people that you touch are being, uh, are being impacted. Uh, because of the love of God and the passion and the fire of God that's in you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. This next word is for um, Ndile. Ndile, God loves you very much. Um, I really feel how the Lord is bringing comfort and peace over your life. And God has called you. Um, I, I just feel it's vibrant. It's colorful. It's really life. I just feel the Lord says wherever you go, I'm with you. You're going to be a person of life. And God is cutting off all sorrow, all death off of your life. God is calling you to speak life over your environment, over your area. God is calling you to speak life because that's just an anointing God has given you. That's why God has sent you. And I, I really feel how God is going to place um, just new desires and dreams in your heart, especially for 2025, 2026. I just feel God is really, really giving you like creative ideas and, and just showing you that there's something to be so excited for i just feel the lord says i'm so excited for you and in this season i'm giving you vis vision so i really want to encourage you go grab a piece of paper and a pen and spend time with god and ask him god what do you want me to do this year what ideas do you have what what what's going to happen god loves you god bless you thank you and for being here tonight please remember to write to say comment the next one is for brenda brenda the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you Okay, I saw two circumstances or two scenarios. The one is with waterfalls, very peaceful, very tranquil, very nice place to be. The other part is there is just chaos. It's difficult, it's a challenge. And I see it is as if you live in the one which is chaos, but the Lord wants you to live in tranquility. Now the thing is when you walk by faith and not by sight, 
You do not take your circumstances as permanent. You do not take that to become your future. But you must envision the future. When you walk by sight, you see what the Lord wants for you to do. Not natural sight, uh, sight that God gives you, spiritual sight. So to get your faith going, see this place. Every time you feel that you need peace, you see the, there's chaos around you. And then eventually you'll start to speak peace into your chaos. And then your chaos is going to turn into a peace, tranquil environment. Be blessed. Uh, Amen, Brenda. Please give us a comment in the next village of Shang Shang Ming. The Lord says, I want you to fill the shoes, the Lord shows me shoes, of the position that I that I that I have placed for you, that I have planned for you. The Lord shows me how no one else can fill this position, that these that this position was made for you. And the Lord shows me how you hesitate, but you have faith and you put on these shoes that you take this position. And the Lord shows me how how because his plan is the right plan and his way is the right way that you will prosper and, and, and you will grow in this new position that the Lord is placing you in. And maybe it's a position you are in, but you haven't accepted it. I hear the Lord saying, put on these shoes and fill the space because He has big plans for you and He loves you. Be blessed. Hey, Shen Shen, uh, God bless you. Uh, Shen Shen, uh, when I see your name, I just feel that evangelistic anointing upon your life. Uh, so it's your discipline to, to read Bible and pray and also that evangelistic anointing. God bless you, Shan Shan. Okay, Victoria, uh, the Lord shows me how you grow in your maturity and then how the Lord then open up doors in the financial sector to you. And I felt that the Lord says that He's putting the fire even three times hotter in your life. And you know, when the fire of God is there, we mature quickly, but it's also hard because we have to lay down um, our flesh and we got to learn how to walk according to the Spirit and according to the Holy Spirit and trust the Lord. But I shall see the more you mature uh, in your in your growth uh, uh, as a as a child of God, okay, um, the more I, I see how the Lord just opens up doors for f supernatural financial supply in your life. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Jobin. Jobin, the Lord loves you so much. And I just feel the Lord says, I've called you to run. Um, I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you energy. But also, at the same time, God says, I have called you to run. But right now, you need to sleep. And I just see how you um, close your eyes and you just sleep and you receive that peace of God. And you know, sometimes we sleep and we don't feel like we're rested. And then, um, and, and I just feel the Lord says, I'm going to give you perfect rest. Um, spirit, soul, and body. So, I, I really want to encourage you. God wants... Uh, Maybe it's for real that you need to sleep, but also in the spirit you need to sleep because God has called you for such a time as this. Um, and Job, and I, I just feel the Lord is really revealing His Father, Father's heart to you. He says, I love you. And I just see how God gives you like this big, this big fatherly hug and embrace. And, and it's strong. And He says, I'm with you. I'm covering you. I'm going to give you strength. I'm going to give you love so that you can be a vessel of my love and prosperity. God loves you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Jobin, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Ben. Ben, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a bed that was made up either uh, like a military style or in a hostel or somewhere where there was strict discipline. And I see that in your life, a lot of times that care has been taken away. Uh, you don't feel or you were not allowed that people feel love. I see that there is a brokenness in that section. But what I see what the Lord wants for you is completely the opposite. I see how the Lord wants to give you freedom. I see how He wants to give you land where you can farm, where you can um, have an have a inheritance for your children as well. Where it is not just about strict things, all of this in one box and that is your whole life. No, I definitely see an expansion in your life. Be blessed. Amen, Ben. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Norma. Norma, the Lord says that that his that you don't always need to know what the Lord is doing, but you just need to be available. And and I hear the Lord saying that make yourself available by the Holy Spirit. Step into the Holy Spirit, not by your might, but by by His. And you step into that. And then you just start releasing. Make yourself available. Maybe you don't know where this where this road is taking you, where the Holy Spirit wants to take you, or the congregation, or your community, or your family. You don't always know where He wants to take you, but He wants to take you somewhere. And He wants to 
for you to grow and, and learn more and for your eyes to be opened. So I, I hear the Lord saying, step into that and do not fear, but have faith and know that I am God and that I am good and that I am holding you. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Norma, God bless you. All right, so uh, Norma, uh, allow that worship to come out of you. I don't know if you like to worship at home a lot, but I just felt that's going to be very good for you to do that. All right, Tony, um, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how um, finances has been put on hold. It's like a pause button was pressed. And then I saw maybe middle November, December somewhere, then you get the news, it's a go. And then from January, uh, maybe middle January to end of January, then the contracts are signed and then the finances are released. And I just felt that the Lord is going to supernaturally open up a new door for you. Now, how I saw it in the spirit, I saw a principality on a seat, on a, on a, on a throne. And I saw that principality through prayer was taken off of that throne and a, and a new ruler was placed on that, on that throne. And so I just felt that the heavens is going to open up for God's blessing to be upon you and where you have felt a lot of pressure and oppression you're going to feel a lot of freedom and um, growth God bless you Amen, God bless you Tony, God loves you This next word is for Martin Martin, the Lord loves you very much and the picture God showed me for you was how you're kind of like this um, engineer and you're very, you're very uh, quite a handy, practical person and I just feel the Lord says I'm going to open up doors for you a favor for financial um, for just for financial provision um, and, and I just feel God is giving you a lot of wisdom and then I saw how you were on a desk and you had like this pile of admin and paperwork and I just feel the Lord says I'm giving you wisdom and I'm also giving you uh, my presence is with you um, while while you're working and I just see how God helps you with all this ab admin with all this work that you need to do and I just really feel how the Lord is really going to give you um, yeah just such a breakthrough with finances because um, God has called you to be a builder um, um, a, a builder of the kingdom of God to be generous God loves you and uh, I just I yeah I declare that overflow in your life in every single way God loves you God bless you thank you Martin for being here tonight please remember hmm? mm, no, I'm sorry. please remember to write us a comment <laughs> the next one is for Kerry Kerry the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of you opening a door here on earth but that door is so big it reached into the heaven so as you open it here on the earth it opens in the heavens and I just see how the Lord has definitely unlocked that door but now you are opening that door wide and you're walking through it so I just see how there's a, a very big connection in the spirit that is what has been opened for you so now your new set of opportunities have just increased tremendously I see it's gonna it's gonna bring a difference in your life it feels like you've prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and you you see a little bit here and a little bit there but you don't see the big stuff that you think you're called for and i believe this is the door that is opening for you for your future be blessed amen carrie please leave us a comment says what is for amanda amanda i hear the lord saying that he is going to supply the bread basket and you are going to su supply like the meat or like the salad the lord shows you like this bring and bribe or like how you both need to bring something to the table the lord is bringing something but now you also have to bring something the lord shows me how how what what you bring is enough and what he brings is is more than enough but he wants your enough he wants you to bring it to him and 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 the dinner can't start unless you've brought the food unless you've placed the offering down and then the dinner starts so I hear the Lord saying bring your offering and I want to feast with you be blessed hello Amanda God bless you uh, so the next word is for Jan van Niekerk uh, Jan, the Lord shows me how you are a builder uh, and you guys are building the bricks and you're also plastering the walls. But I see the, the mix of the cement doesn't have some, enough cement in. It's like you take five wheelbarrows of sand but with one bag of cement. And it needs to, there needs to be more cement into that sand. And then the Lord showed me your prayer. And I felt that prayer is the cement that's building your life, it's building even your business. And I felt that the Lord says, cover everything that you do with prayer. When you drive somewhere to go and see someone, pray about it. When you do a purchase or a sale, pray about it. 
and, and just even declare the blessing of God over yourself, over your family, and over your business. And I felt that the Lord says that will that will add that that strong cement that you need for that building that you built and your life that you built to be very very strong. And so I just felt that the Lord is calling you today into a life of prayer. God bless you, Jan. Amen. God bless you, Jan. God loves you. This next word is for Jeanette. Jeanette, the Lord loves you very much. And while praying for you, the picture God showed me for you is how um, you had a sword. You and your whole family actually had these swords. And you were sharpening them, repairing them. And then I just saw the Lord says, okay, now it's time for you to... Um, let's get these swords on fire so i just saw how like it's it's literally like how you like um dipped it in like gasoline and how the 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 swords just became like fire swords and i just feel the lord says your family your ministry is is called to be a lighthouse to many people a light that's going to draw people to the presence of god and i just feel that like the last year um 2024 has been a lot of um branches being cut off a lot of connections that god cut off and the lord says um, um, after those things have been removed, I'm going to grow new branches and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be stronger and so much better how, than how it was. And I, I just feel the Lord says that what is lost, I'm going to bring complete restoration for it. Uh, I really feel the Lord says strength, fire and, and just, um, yeah, just new growth. God loves you. God bless you. Thank you, Jeanette, for being here tonight. Uh... Please write us a comment. The next one is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see a lot of resistance. It feels like there's uh, too much resistance. But I see also how you're getting stronger and stronger to endure more. And I just pray for understanding. Pray uh, When you pray, pray for understanding. It's, it's really going to help you because when you understand or have more understanding, you will be able to... Um, I can't say accept the circumstances, but work with the circumstances and work to so that the whole process comes to fulfillment in your life. And I just see how you're definitely going to be strong uh, when you're through this process. But yes, I see it is it's a challenging setting. God did not leave you. God did not, did not forsake you. Be blessed. And Elizabeth, please leave us a comment. The Lord loves you so much. This next word is for Carolina. I just want to say uh, we are recording, so even if it is a little glitchy, the video will be uploaded onto YouTube so you can watch the full thing without the, the glitches. Okay, this next word is for Carolina. The Lord shows me how you are very mature, and even in the spirit you are very mature which means you can handle more and which means what is on your plate might be heavier and richer and, 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 just, and just a bit more. And the Lord says that, my daughter, I, I know you can handle this and, and, and maybe you feel like you can't because you need me. And that is, that, is, that, is so, that is such an important feeling to always come back to. I can't do this on my own. I need the Lord in everything. We need Jesus to come and, and, and take control and the Holy Spirit to come and guide us. So I hear the Lord saying that you can handle this, um, but when you are yoked with me, the burden is so, so much more lighter. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Carolina, uh, the Lord has made you to be an influencer and to be one with authority. Uh, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Rachel. I think clearly must be an L of the... Well, maybe I can't see. Okay, I can't see that far. There is a L. <laughs> uh, sorry, Rochelle. My, my eyesight, when I look so far at the screen, it's not always that good. Okay, so uh, Rochelle, uh, what God shows me uh, is how you are a boxer and how you, the Lord is giving you tremendous endurance and also the ability to handle difficult situations. And I see you take a few punches. Uh, but you just trust in God and He heals you and He strengthens you and He helps you to endure and to persevere. And so, Rachel, I felt that, you know, sometimes we go through a valley season and sometimes we go through a, 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 the top of the hill where we feel like we're on top of the world. And I just felt that the Lord says, this is now a time of endurance, a time where the Lord is strengthening you, a time where you're going to have to push and don't give up and stand strong and go through the valley and go up the hill and trust God that He will give you the breakthrough. And I just felt the Lord is giving you a promise and says, you're going to get through the valley and you're going to get to the top and you're going to overcome, but you have to endure and I'm going to help you to overcome. I'm going to give you to eat from the tree of life. God bless you, Rochelle. Amen. God bless you, Rochelle. God loves you. This next word is for Marcus. Marcus, the Lord loves you so much. And I just feel the Lord has called you to be like this mountain climber and how God is giving you the equipment, the team, the people that is with you. And you know, when people like, um, like, like, 
when they see something like a new land or something, they say, okay, I'm going to name this that. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving the authority to just... He's going to give you vision and he's going to tell you when you build something, you're going to call it something because that's what Adam did. He, he named the animals and I just saw how um, you're going to really just speak life to a lot of situations. And I just saw how as you're climbing, um, it, it was kind of like you were working with this, I don't know, this past business or past ministry. And it was kind of like... Jesus is what his blood is washing away the old the things that happen in the in the way past um, what previous leaders has done or whatever I just feel Lord says I'm making all things new and I'm calling you to walk in my righteousness and my excellence and I am I just feel how just Jesus just washing things with the blood of Jesus and how God is lighting your way and how the Lord says keep on climbing um, I will I will provide everything that you need when there's a need I will I will be there for you for I am your king i'm your provider marcus god loves you so much and i really feel god is with you as you climb these mountains i hope this word makes sense god bless you thank you marcus for being here tonight did you remember right to say comment the next word is for evelyn evelyn the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of you receiving an ice cream and somebody else that was jealous bumped you and half of your ice cream fell off now you give that ice cream to that person and say you can have it it is yours i bless you with it now your now the lord sees oh this is you touch the heart of the lord now he sees wow um okay i'm going to give you another ice cream but the one that makes the ice cream also saw what's happening and he makes it double the size and i just see how the lord says when you repay evil with kindness I just see there's a, a, a tremendous increase in your life and I just feel that the person you're called to be is to stay kind even though other people are jealous in your life. Don't, don't speak negative about them. Just speak a blessing over them. Bless them and it is not your problem. The Lord will help you in this circumstance. I don't see, say the Lord's going to do evil to them. I just see how the Lord's reward is way bigger than you can ever think. Be blessed. Amen, Evelyn, please leave us a comment next to for Barnabas. The Lord shows me um, how His mercy and His love and His peace is, is following you. And it is surely is following you wherever you go for all of your days. And the Lord just wants to remind you that He is, that he is by you and that He sees your heart and that He sees what you are seeing. And the Lord shows me how He is just praying over you and how Jesus is just interceding for you. And, and speaking life over you. The Lord shows me how He has, that there is a covering around you, a covering of prayer, of prayer that has come in the past, maybe from a, a grandma or a grandpa, but the Lord really shows me how there is a covering over you and you do not, you do not need to fear. Your, your job right now is to carry on this covering onto the next generation, into the next generation, because it is a beautiful covering that the Lord just wants to solidify in your bloodline. Be blessed. Awesome. Barnabas, uh, God bless you. His hand is upon your life. All right. So, Edgar Haller. All right. So, Edgar, uh, what the Lord was showing to me is that you really have the ability to problem solve uh, and to to uh, even fix e uh, mechanical equipment. I saw a lot of creativity that the Lord is opening in your heart. And I felt the more you worship, the more you uh, read the word, uh, the more you spend time in God's presence. And you just allow, um, you know, pray in tongues a lot. Then I see how the Lord just brings answers and solutions to you. And, and you don't, you're not only going to solve your own problems, you're going to solve people around you's problems and because of that and because of that that ability the the lord is going to open up ways for you to earn more finances and so i just felt that the lord is saying problem solving creativity and more finances god bless you Iker. amen this next word is for christy christine you're such a blessing um the picture god showed me for you was moses and how he led the people um through the red sea but he has to go through a lot of preparation so like to give you an idea the first 40 years of his life he lived in egypt and he was like a leader and he understood how it all worked and then the next 40 years of his life that's when he, um, he, he, that's when he was a shepherd, and he roamed all around, all around um, um, those places that he had to roam around, and, and for forty years, like he knew the lands well. So God prepared him for such a time as that, so he could be such the the one of the greatest leaders in the Bible. Um, and and I just feel the Lord says that I've 
I've prepared you, I've, I've brought you through situations and challenges and I'm with you and I just see how the Lord is calling you um, to really stand in front of that sea and know that God is going to make a way because um, God has been with you through it all. He's going to make a way. And then I also feel how the Lord is really um, restoring a lot of peace and a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of, lot of peace and unity for your family. I just feel there's like this, this wave of healing, of peace, of understanding for one and one another understanding of God's presence that is God God is bringing it's just such a beautiful anointing God is bringing um, Christine God loves you so much and I really feel God is going to be with you um, for this time God bless you God loves you hey awesome thank you very much Christine uh, God bless you all right so uh, Christine um, and all everybody that's here, a family. Uh, we're gonna take now a time of commu uh, and, and take communion together. Now I noticed uh, Claire sitting here and she's just typing the names for us. And there's about another 30 people that put their names on the list. Now we are going to um, sit together and we'll minister to all of those people. So every single person that put their name on the list, you will receive a word. Even if you come live right now, you can just write your name on the list if you desire to receive ministry and we will minister to you so you don't have to worry now but we want to take communion together so i want to ask you if you can maybe just get some um crackers and juice and tonight we're having bread and water so you, anything what whatever you have that is fine and i want you to take that piece of bread and if you can just break it so i'm going to just take this piece of bread and it's going to break it in two and so that's just a prophetic sign of the the body of jesus that was broken for us and how the Lord is bringing wholeness into our lives. Now, I'm sure each one of us can tonight identify areas of brokenness in our lives. You're thinking about your life, about your future, about your children, about your parents, about your finances, your health, your house, where you are, where should you go, things like that, the government, the, the, the community around you. And all of that is affected uh, by, um, uh, you know, uh, principalities and lots and lots of different things okay and so what I just okay you go yes okay no no problem I hope you guys are still there <laughs> they said the camera just went away for a moment all right but we back anyway so uh, I just felt that the, the Lord is saying to you that I'm gonna bring wholeness back into your life and so you have to what do you do? You just say, okay, Lord, I trust you and I'm going to come into agreement that you're going to start to bring wholeness into my life. And so what you can do, you can take the, the bread and you can just, you can just trust the Lord. Uh, Kimmy, is your pillow that's touching that uh, thing. That's the problem. Yeah. All right. So just come before the Lord and put your trust in God that He is going to bring wholeness to you. And so, Lord, we come to you tonight. And Lord, thank you that you are faithful and that you have died for us on the cross. You sent your son Jesus to die for us on the cross. And he paid the price. So that we can receive wholeness into our lives. And so Lord today by faith. We come to you Lord. And as we eat this Lord. We receive supernatural restoration. Wholeness. And the good future and the hope that you have for our lives. And Lord we, eat, we step into it by faith. In the name of Jesus. And just before we go to the juice i want you to just take your hand and put it anywhere on your body where you experience pain or sickness even if you think about your husband your wife your mom and dad your children and you think where they have sickness i want to encourage you put your hand on that area in your body and then you can receive healing and so i'm going to put my hand on my head today and so father thank you that you bring healing and restoration to my physical body and to every person's physical body and even their family members that they stand in proxy today Lord that they will receive healing and wholeness right now in the name of Jesus Lord according to your word it says by your stripes you are healed by your stripes I'm healed by your stripes we are collectively as children of God we are healed so Lord thank you that we can receive it Lord, in your word, it says there that we shall put our hands on a sick and they shall recover. And so, Lord, we receive tonight the wholeness that you give. All right. And so now I want you to take the juice. And so uh, this is our covenant that we make with God. This is a picture of the words that Jesus speaks over our life. 
And so when we make this covenant, then we say, I agree with you. I agree to be one with you, to walk with you, and to let your life flow through my life. And so, Lord, we, we, we thank you. Uh, for the blood of Jesus and for the new covenant that you give to us. And so, Lord, we make a choice today to step and to renew that covenant, to step into that covenant today. And, Lord, we agree with every word that you speak over our lives. We agree with the scroll and the plan, the blueprint that you have for each of us. So, Lord, we don't want to walk according to the flesh. We don't want to walk according to um, what we think is the right thing. But, Lord, we want to walk according to your ways. Lord, we give you honor as we drink this. I mean, family, God loves each one of you. You are amazing. And it is just amazing for us and wonderful to minister to each one of you. So if you place your name in the comments, I'm going to, uh, uh, Claire already sat and she made a list. And we're going to sit together and we're going to minister to every single person. Um, I also want to encourage you just go to the Unity with Heaven teaching channel and just go and uh, check out uh, some of those teachings. Uh, I think they are impactful. So I love and appreciate you. God bless. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.